Hello, welcome to Yvonne Cookson, who I have known oh, probably for about over a year now. And yeah. um, we were just talking actually before we came on the call. You are the second person only to have been on this podcast. Well, the only person to have been on this podcast twice. So um, very happy to have you back. The first time we were talking about mindfulness and we were co-authors on a book through our mindfulness uh, teacher, um, Shamash Aladina, and um, and it was a number one Amazon, of course, yeah. bestseller, uh, yeah. Mindfulness for Challenging Times. And you wrote about your chapter. Yeah, well, my chapter was about working from home. Um, mm. At that time, I owned a business and I had quite a lot of staff that were working from home. So it was really relevant to my life at that point in time. It's amazing, isn't it? And now here we are both now working from home and, yeah. uh, you know, we're doing what we're doing. And yeah. uh, one of the reasons why I, I want to get Yvonne on this on the podcast is because we're talking about crypto and we're talking particularly crypto and forgive me, but women as well. So one of the big fears around divorce and being a single parent and financial settlements and costs and all that stuff that goes into divorce is really you know money is at the heart of it and with money comes so often sadly comes conflict and the impact as well on our lives and our children's lives yeah. so um it's really really especially important for us to talk excuse me to talk about it and i feel like um if we don't talk about money there's always going to be that element of shame as well. And we're going to be covering all of this in uh, in the podcast. So Yvonne, do you want to talk to me about your journey into crypto? And then I'm going to share it obviously a little bit along the way and with you as well. But I'd love to hear your thing and introduce to our listeners, you as a female, as a divorcee um, and your journey into crypto. Yeah, so my, my journey started around 15 months ago. So sort of when COVID started, uh, my partner was um, doing crypto and doing Forex trading at the time. And I was I was that skeptical person, uh, didn't really want to be involved in it, but sort of got a little bit involved. Um, couldn't really get my head around it, if I'm honest. Because you're an accountant, aren't you? That's yeah, your trade? Yeah, I, I actually sold my accountancy business last year, but I've been in, I was an accountant for over 20 years. So mm. I think because of because of the way you sort of preconditioned as an accountant, it just, none of it made sense. And it just, it was too good to be true. Mm. Um, yeah. and, and also in the very early days, I was scammed a couple of times and lost quite a lot of money. So obviously, you know, once bitten, twice shy. Totally. Um, but then I sort of made a decision that um, I could see lots of people making lots of money trading in crypto and trading in Forex and, 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 I had to sort of live that journey myself before I started promoting it to anybody else. So over the last 15 months, I have been trading Forex, um, which is very, very easy. You put your money in and they do it all for you. And you earn some really big money. And with those profits that I've made from that, I've built up quite a big portfolio now. I have over 36 currencies now. Um, and I've bought some amazing currencies that have made me some really, really big money. So for me now, it's about helping others to do the same as what I've done, but to do it safely and securely. And I think that that's where I initially went wrong in the beginning. I didn't really know anybody that I could trust enough to get into it and to help me on my journey. So it was a case of me having to do that learning curve completely mm. on my own. But in a sense, I'm quite glad I've done that. Mm. Um, because I've learned a lot and I've researched a lot and you know I've found some amazing platforms for other people to use and uh, you know it's there's only four percent of investments in the whole of the UK that are in crypto and there's it's a billion billion pound industry mm. so there's so much money to go around and we're, and we're kind of on the cold face of it so it's a very exciting time and and like you I was I was well, I wasn't scammed by the person who introduced me in 2017, but it was the big, big USI tech that was the big, you know, that's what kind of really gave crypto its bad name for yeah. a really long time. And a lot of people lost a lot of money. And I remember investing, I think it was about $300 or something. And actually, yeah, that for me at the time was quite big because um, I was waiting for my house sale money to come through. And I, I was kind of like, you know, getting by um and I lost that 
and, and I kind of forgot about it. And I think you and I started talking at the end of 2019 because of the mindfulness and the book and everything. And you mentioned it and we had a chat. And on the back of that, I opened up one of these crypto wallets, which is basically yeah. like, if you think of like a wallet you take to the shop or your purse or whatever. And I put two pounds in there. And, uh, and I looked at it about, well, about a month ago mm -hmm. and there was like 200 quid in there on two pounds. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this is insane. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was kind of part of me thinking, oh damn, why didn't I put like, even like 20 quid in would have been better. But anyway, yeah. but it was like a sign for me that this market is kind of not going away. And, you know, and with safety and with caution and with being sensible, you know, and it's a bit like going into a sweetie shop and going, oh my God, I can do this, 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 and this, and this. Yeah. And I, can, I have to kind of check myself and go, right, you know, this is still a market, you know, we live uncertain times, um, but the returns are huge. The returns are huge. If yeah. you're careful, if you're careful, I don't, I don't want to say careful because I don't want it to be fearful, but it's just being um it's it's doing your due diligence i think in Definitely. reading articles which i've been doing which i've made like have just helped me feel much better um and yeah and and just being realistic but being open as well and i think you i think with crypto you cannot put the same thoughts and fears and old generational thinking around money you can't do that no you can't it's about and it's about for me it's it, it is it's about doing your you know doing your research and I, I, I try and drum that into all of my teams and you need to research yourself because your money is your responsibility yeah it's not is. mine mm -hmm. so do your own research there's so much out there to learn mm -hmm. I'll guide you but that's all I can do yeah um but that, that you're right Tosh there's so much money to be made in this industry it's mm -hmm. absolutely crazy um and there's enough of it to go around for everybody it's just about being careful. It's about spreading your risk. It's about getting, you know, the, the money you originally put in. It's about de-risking and taking that back out. So, you know, you, you it, it, if things did go wrong, you've not lost anything. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and it's about spreading it over different platforms. And, you know, we've, we've never sort of, as, as young adults, we were never taught to do that. You're taught to sort of open a bank account, put all your money into a bank account. For a rainy account. day. And it's not, you know, that's, that's, you know, it, we're preconditioned again to sort of mm. think like that. And it's really mm. difficult to get out of that way of thinking. But I think when you get, when you get into this industry, it teaches you that there is a different way. Yeah. And I think particularly for women, it's kind of hard as well. You know, it's so like, hard. especially in, you're a single, you've been a single mom. I've been a single mom. Yeah. We know, you know, we understand, you know, what it feels like you know and the fear around money and you know you can and it's not to diss anybody but you, you know you turn up for jobs and like 10 15 quid an hour whatever you want to do and you're going to be slogging it till nine to five on the hope that you know the the pension markets are all going to be okay in the future and everything else and all your ices are going to do okay and i'm not yeah. sure what's happening with anything at the moment but it's certainly not where i would put my money yeah. um and i'm not suggesting that you do but just personally i am not interested in that and because at the end of the week, you're knackered, got very little to show for it. And I don't know, life, you know, what happened, you know, and it's about thinking a, a, about a bigger picture about your life as well. Like, what Definitely. do you want from your life? Do you want to own your house? I want to own a house. I want to yeah. buy a house. I want to have a secure future for myself and my children. I want to be able to, you know, clear my daughter's student loan at some point. I would like to, you know, help my son and my children put um you know a deposit down for a house I want to be able to do that and currently you know I was sitting there going what am I doing I'm busting it out the whole time um and it's so attainable um and I yeah. think it's just short for me it's about showing people that it is attainable I mean yeah. for me my my dream is to to buy my house outright by the end of next year and I'm on target to do that and I've only been in this industry for a year um, you know, I, I, I've made a lot. My portfolio has grown hugely. I won't give you figures, but it's it's on target to do the things that I want to do. Yeah. And, and, you know, my motto now is I don't work for my money. My money works for me. Mm. And that's how I live my life. And I think we, and we've had these conversations, Tosh, about, you know, being rich and wanting to be rich is a bit of a dirty word. Well, yeah. not anymore in my vocabulary. I'm quite happy to say it outright. I want to be extremely rich. Yeah, yeah. me too. I'm, I'm with you totally. 
And if I have abundance and have a lot of money, I know that I will help people with that. Yeah, exactly. And the people that I will help will help people. So that's just has that knock on effect. And, mm. you know, it's, it's just making the world a better place in a financial sense. Exactly. And it feels like the finance, you know, we've kind of, you know, oh God, over the last year, what we're talking about this in 2021 for anybody who's listening in the future is like, you know, we're really growing the community in the sense of looking after each other, but actually yeah. it has to be monetarily as well, because there cannot be such a disparity between those that have and those that haven't anymore, because it's just, it's just not conducive to good mm-hmm. living, to good community, to looking after each other. Um, and yeah, this uh, this whole thing around abundance is um, is very powerful, and it's like you know, you know, we get caught up in the whole like, oh, don't spend it all at once, and you know, all these money fears that are handed handed down from generation to generation. And here is like an opportunity with care and caution, of course, okay. um, to actually walk into your financial fears and go, do you know what? I can either sit here and do my nine to five, which is fine and get my pay packet at the end of the month or I could go do you know what I could step out my financial and it only I think it starts at like three hundred dollars is it three hundred dollars it's about 250 pound is two hundred and fifty point yeah, yeah that you say do you know what I'm just going to see how this goes and yeah. and, and just to go with it and that's what I did and um as I say I mean both Yvonne and I have kind of been around to this kind of area I mean certainly you have far more than I have but for me it's just been a really exciting last few weeks mm. um so yeah that's definitely definitely it is, it's really exciting times at the moment and I think um it, it's gaining momentum there's more and more people becoming involved in this and more and more big big companies and you know, when, when you think about the, the amount of millionaires in, in this world, it's, it's such a small percentage. But mm. why? There's yeah. enough money to go around for everyone to have a really high standard of living. Yeah. And that's how it should be. We should. We're all equal. Yeah, I um, agree. You know, and it's for me, it's just about it's about getting that out there now mm. and, and helping people to do that. Yeah. So um, thankfully, I was very happy to reconnect with you again and to have these chats over the years which is lovely and I know you come from a good place we both have the same thought processes we both have the same values which is really really important as well because with any industry around money there's always going to be people who haven't um, or purport they have but you know you and I come from a place where you know we've we 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 do good work to help people and you know you're a therapist as well which is also lovely so I mean you know I share that space with you as well um and this is kind of why I'm going to sell this group um I created a group called women who love money Mm -hmm. and it's just to be that brazen where you go do you know what I absolutely have a, a sovereign right to be um wealthy and abundant and to live a lovely life happily not worrying about money waking up at four o'clock in the morning going oh my god what am I gonna do you know jobs are you know the job market is scarce and we just thought do you know what we want to give something back and and use what we have and our knowledge and experience and reputations and put it on the line to help you and so that's that is where we're going with it and that's why we're recording this podcast which I'm just hugely happy about so I just want to kind of go through things a a couple of things you and we talk about platforms do you want to kind of just um talk about some of the terminology around crypto because it is it's like it's like this completely weird it is (laughs) like completely weird world to anybody who's kind they kind of know about it but it's like oh my god where do I find out about it which is why obviously you and I are talking yeah there's so many different terminologies in in the crypto world and I actually do, um, but for my team, I do something called crypto lingo. And, and every so often I'll give them a term and explain what it means, but different platforms. So you have different trading platforms. So one of the biggest ones in the world and probably the most well-known one is the one called Binance. Um, and it's where you can trade your money. You can put your money in there and earn, you know, earn decent amounts of money on your savings, but you can also trade in cryptocurrencies you can also use Binance as a platform to send money to other mm. crypto platforms or wallets. So like you said before, a crypto wallet is, is, is somewhere where you hold your money. It's a secure place, a digital wallet where you hold your money. So it's like having your purse, but it's, it, it, it's digital. And then you'll get some things which are platforms and wallets. So they do a bit of both. So they'll hold your money 
as a security, but they'll also, but you can also trade some coins on there as well. Um, I don't want to go into it too much because I don't I think, want to scare people it, off. Yeah, and I think it, it can be, you know, uh, it can be a little bit overwhelming even just explaining the whole concept to people yeah. as well. So, um, yeah, and then we have the obviously the Forex trading as well, which is... Yeah, Forex um, trading is very different. And, and, and to be honest, Forex trading is what... You, so any money you've got in your bank account is what the banks will do with your money. They will trade it on the foreign exchange. So they're trading in foreign currencies such as the dollar, euros, um, you know, any any other foreign currencies. So this is what foreign forex trading is. It's just mm. companies using your money on the foreign exchange, but paying you really healthy profits. Yeah. The banks don't do that. You know, the banks mm. actually cost you money. They don't even ask your permission to use your money mm. on the foreign exchange. And they make so that's how banks make so much money. They don't just put your money in a vault and, and, and stick it there and leave it there for a couple of years. They're trading your money constantly. And um, asking you to pay to do transactions. Yeah, and I think we were talking at the weekend. You to do that. And that and yeah. that that's the big difference. So Forex is a great place for anyone wanting to put their toe in the water and start mm. because it's a, it's quite an easy process. You have to open a crypto wallet, but there's some really simple, nice wallets now available. Um, and I can testify very, to that. <laughs> yeah, very, very easy to use. You put yeah. your money into your wallet and then you move it over into your crypto. You open an account with, your, with, the, with the crypto. Uh, sorry with the forex people and then they trade your money for you and all you have to do then is download your profits every week um and, and that's and what great. i loved is you don't even have to do the downloading you can just set it up so it just comes back into your account because what i yeah. didn't i want simplicity because if i if it gets too complicated with money and um all that other stuff i've got yeah. to do and we live busy lives as well and it's you know and single parents as well we live bit busy lives and and it really is about kind of going, OK, you know, what works for me? What is easy? Yeah. So, I mean, I put on the group, um, I put a, a post on the group and I sort of screenshot my email. I got into my account on uh, mm -hmm. on my inbox on Saturday, just saying, just want to let you know we have paid you this amount of money for this week. And yeah. I was just like, oh, amazing. How lovely is yeah. that? It's easy. It's so easy and it's a real, like you say, it's like dipping your toe in the water. It's, yeah. it's, it's getting into that world without getting too heavily into it straight away. Mm -hmm. um, obviously the Forex is paid in Bitcoin, which is the, the, probably the, the, the currency that most people have heard of is Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um, but then you can transfer that straight back into Sterling and you can put it back into your bank account. Yeah. So, there's, there's so I think that's a big worry, isn't it? I think people go, oh my God, once it's there, it's in that different no. world that I don't know no. about. I could lose it or I can't get it back. How do you get it out? And that's one of the big it's questions so that people easy. ask, and, isn't it? Yeah. And, and that and that's why I'm doing what I do now. And and, and obviously you're going to start doing what you mm. do as well, Tosh, is to to show people how to do that in an easy, easy way. Yeah. Um, I've been doing this for over 15 months now. And, you know, I'm starting to show a lot of different people how to do it and and people are putting their toe in the water but they're getting really excited and, and mm. going that little bit further and that little bit further and mm. um and it's really nice to see that it's nice to see that people are really starting to take control I know. of their destinies and yeah. and actually you know you can make your dreams come true mm. they're not actually dreams anymore that these dreams can become realities mm. and um you know and, and I, I live that yeah and, and totally and that's I think that's what that's our kind of quite a shared vision for us is the fact yeah. that actually you know it it's not about having your manifest board and going I want this and I want mm -hmm. that but oh my god how am I going to do it every month or whatever it's actually like going do you know what this can happen and what I particularly love about and people might argue there's not a lot to love over the last year, but what I particularly love is this whole recalibration that has happened in the world. And there are opportunities, as with anything, that if you want to take that step forward, it is there for you. And that if you, you're you noticing, you're, you're feeling fearful and you're feeling in your body about you know money and <gasps> what am I going to do? And you're happy to stay with that rock in your stomach of money fear. That is OK. Yeah. That is fine because that is your body and that is your life and that is your waking up yeah. moment every day worrying about it if that's what you do. Yeah. Or you can turn around and go, do you know what? I'm just going to trust 
that I'm worth a bit more than this and that actually if the opportunity. So, for example, if you've heard this podcast or for some reason you've clicked on, you're listening to this podcast and you go, do you know what? Um, this spoke to me. This is a nudge. Maybe you might keep seeing crypto or whatever that you just might just go. Actually, this is the nudge. This is, yeah. you know, you know, you and I are a, a nice good kind people and yeah. we want to help people be part of this and share as well and whether yeah. you do crypto whether you do forex whatever you do it's about you know us encouraging you it is and supporting you and it's about it's about helping people it's about keeping people safe yeah totally. um, definitely definitely um it, it it's a big world out there but you know if you know the right people you can do things very very quickly and you, you can really empower yourself by doing this and that's what I feel I've done I feel completely empowered I sold my business after 15 years last year which was a huge thing for me to do and I, I have got the best work-life balance now I was working like 50 60 hours a week mm. um for a long long time and and that was the norm to me because mm. that's just what was expected yeah. and no, I don't work anywhere near that. And and the work I actually do now, I really love and enjoy. So, you know, I'm a massive believer that any, you know, it's about, about taking that control yourself and doing something about it. Yeah. And how empowering is that? And I think actually that is what it's all about yeah. um, is, you know, I think for me, what came to the whole, to the like crunch was hearing, um, somebody who's been on my kind of radar and who follows me on social media and they were just so petrified they were getting to sort of their late 50s and they literally did not know how they were going to start living their lives going mm -hmm. forward and they literally go what can I do so I would say if you are that person and you want to have a chat with us and this is not a sales thing at all it's a genuine we want to help we're here and you know what I, I I, I'm okay because I'm making it on my I don't have to rely on anybody else to help mm. you know be helping anybody else but that's like the paying paying it forward as well and paying it back um so and I yeah. think as well Tosh it's about there's a lot of myths out there about the crypto world and the forex yeah. world and and a lot of them have, a lot of these things that people are saying are very very untrue so again it's about not believing everything you hear and about speaking to people who you do trust, who, who are in this industry mm. and, and, and living it and doing it because, you know, crypto is here to stay. Yeah. And within the next 10 years, everybody will be using crypto, whether they like it or not, mm. and whether they even know it or not. Banks are getting involved in it now. Yeah. Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, Amazon. Goldman so Sachs, I think eBay. Huge, huge companies. Mm. It's not going away. It's, yeah. I always used to say there was a tipping point for crypto. And it's gone way over that tipping point now. Yeah. And there's, no, there's no going back with it. Mm. It's um, it's it's getting bigger and bigger. The industry on a daily basis. It's 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 crazy. Yeah. And I think uh, a Banksy was um, was paid for by crypto um, uh, at Sotheby's. Yeah. So you know, not you know, it's just it's just yeah. very curious. But that's not always the stuff you hear unless you're in the industry and you're kind of yeah. reading what comes up in your daily news feed on the crypto yeah. on, on the wallets which is kind of what obviously you and I um, yeah and that's and that's great and, and that's what I love doing I love showing people the mm. real stuff the real stuff in this yeah. world and you know I, I do a lot of research because I enjoy doing that and and send a lot of articles out that I read to other people to read and and, and sort of and then make the decisions themselves again it's about empowerment and making that decision yourself yeah totally totally it's it's exciting and we're kind yeah, of at like same. we're right at the beginning of it really so you know I guess um yeah anyway now's the time to get into it yeah Definitely. totally so we'll put our links um, under the show notes. And if you've got any questions, you can give us a shout or if yeah. you've got any, um, you know, any yeah questions and that. Any and I'll put the, yeah. yeah, and I'll put the link into the group underneath as well. So um, come and join it. It's, you know, as ever, I run a, a very mindful, non-judgmental sure. um, kind space. So um, just just have a go. And, you know, what have you got to lose? what have you got to lose by finding out more yeah. or you can just kind of you know if it's not for you just leave it for another few months yeah. and who knows what might happen in, the, in exactly. another few months so 
but it's also about that and fear, you know, fear of missing out as well. So just, just notice if you're doing it because you're like, <gasps> or actually because you genuinely want to um, mm. improve the quality of your life as well. Yeah. Fab. Thank you so much for being here. I really thank love you. talking to you. And um, thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.